In the lightning fast, ever-changing world of technology, the next frontier has arrived. Ready? Wearable technology. Forget desktops and laptops, we're talking smart watches, smart glasses, smart wigs, even smart onesies. But is this new wave of wearable devices a positive change or is there such a thing as being too connected? Let's ask Amy Holmes, anchor of The Hot List. Hey, great to connect with you, Raj. <laughs> well said. <laughs> um, so tell me what's already out today. Well, I'm sure you've heard about Google Glass. That Samsung I have heard is going to yes. have their own version coming out. Google Glass is phenomenal. I mean, you can use voice commands to take a picture, take a video, get directions, all from wearing those eyeglasses. Also out there right now is something called smartwatches. I'm actually wearing one. Uh, this is Samsung's Galaxy Gear. And on your wrist here, you can, as you see, see the time, the weather, the temperature, scroll through it, get notifications of text messages, emails, uh, voicemails from your telephone. It'll tell you if your cell phone is ringing. It's amazing. And you can even take videos from your wrist. <laughs> and there you are, smiling at me. In fact, there are other things you can wear on your wrist to monitor. Uh, these are fitness trackers. We have a couple of them right here. And what you do is you wear them on your wrist, and it monitors your heart rate, your you know fitness levels, all sorts of things. It even monitors you in your sleep. And then at the end of the day, you plug it in, and you download the information, and you can see what your body is doing all day. What kind of freaks me out is that's what's already out there. Yes. What's coming soon? Google is actually developing smart contact lenses to monitor glucose levels in your tears. Now this would be helpful for people with diabetes, that it will measure all day long the level of sugar hmm. and let people know when they need to take an insulin shot. And some people say this is less invasive, say, than you know, pricking your finger hmm. to measure your blood. I mean, that sounds awesome, but how do you actually measure that from a contact? I know, it's crazy. So the contact lens will have a computer chip that Google says is about the size of a piece of glitter and an antenna thinner than a human hair. Incredible. Sony's even developing something called the Smart Wig, which is just as weird and goofy as it sounds. It's a wig that will use sensors to detect everything from blood sugar to brain waves, and it will vibrate or give you a small electric shock to notify you if you have a text or an email or a voicemail. Some people speculate that it could be good for uh, blind people, that it can let them know, you know if they're about to run into hmm. something or what direction they're going in. So Amy, correct me if I'm wrong, but this technology is going to be used on babies? Well, not on babies' bodies, but in their onesies. And this is a microchip that is sewn into the onesie to help monitor this newborn infant sleeping, sleep positions, breathing patterns, so that new parents can you know, track and monitor how their little baby's doing. I mean, so these all kind of have, at the outset, kind of practical purposes. Yes, they do. Right now, they're being marketed as tools to track medical issues, to help you with your physical fitness. This is just the beginning, if you can imagine. Intel is actually sponsoring a Make It Wearable Challenge where the winner of it gets a half a million dollars to come up with some new wearable technology. So who knows, I mean, you could have like make it wearable socks, hand gloves, shirts, pants, you name it, underwear even. But Amy, I have to ask you this. <laughs> Is there such a thing as being too connected? Well, that's a big fear about all of this technology that will be connected 24-7, whether it's Google Glass, videotaping constantly. Maybe it's a little too much, hard to say, but I think being connected 24-7 might just get exhausting.